Welcome to News Click. We have with us senior advocate Prashant Bhushan, who is going to talk to us about the recent developments in Supreme Court, which has been unprecedented in the history of Indian judiciary. Welcome to News Click, sir. So, what is this issue that? What was the reason for the four senior most judges of the Supreme Court to come out in open and give a press conference? Could you give us some background? Yes. You see, firstly, the a press conference by four senior judges. Uh, against a chief justice, against the sitting chief justice is truly unprecedented and unheard of. Now the issue that they have raised in that press conference is regarding the manner in which the chief justice is misusing and abusing his power as master of roster in allocating cases to different benches. What they said was that they raised this issue with him two months ago. Um, and uh, it was not redressed. They raised it with him again and again orally. It was still not redressed. Finally, the last straw came when this Justice Loya's case was listed by the Chief Justice before Court Number 10, which is a very politically sensitive case. It should have been normally allocated to among the senior judges, etc. So the issue that they raised was that um, though the Chief Justice is the master of roster for the purpose of deciding how benches are to be allocated, which cases go to which benches, etc., this does not mean that this power can be arbitrarily used or used in a malafide manner, particularly in politically sensitive cases. There has to be a method a transparent, non-arbitrary and rational method for allocating cases. But unfortunately, that is, what, uh, that is not what is happening. And the judges went public with this matter only when they felt that the matter is not being redressed. It has become so serious that effectively the water had come above their nose. These are very respected and uh, senior judges and uh, very, very sober as well as uh, responsible judges. For them to have raised this issue in this way is clearly um, uh, something which shows that the matters had become very serious. So also that there is a issue of the future cases that are going to come, especially the Babri Masjid the demolition case and in other significant political cases. Do you think that was the back of the mind when the judges were apprehensive because they say that democracy is in danger that's one of the words they've used yes because you see these politically sensitive cases can have a great impact on the functioning of our democracy on fundamental rights of citizens on the future of our republic and some of these cases uh, involve for example judge loya's case involves the suspected murder of a sitting judge who was dealing with this murder trial of Mr. Amit Shah. Now for that matter to be dealt with in an arbitrary or malafide manner, uh, uh, or such cases being dealt with in this manner can certainly lead to a great danger to our democracy. Then what may be the implications for the judiciary if there are uh, issues not being settled in the judiciary? What do you think might be the implication? So it, uh, <coughs> it shows that the Chief Justice is really subverting justice in politically sensitive cases in this manner by allocating put, uh, politically sensitive cases to particular benches, etc. Uh, and therefore, this is the matter which the uh, four judges have highlighted. This matter needs to be immediately addressed and redressed and a transparent and rational method must be put in place for the allocation of cases. It cannot be that individual politically sensitive cases are directed to be listed before particular benches chosen by the Chief Justice, especially in a situation where the uh, uh, where a case involving the Chief Justice himself, that is the medical college scam, where uh, the CBI is investigating or should be investigating the Chief Justice's role also in a scam where the medical college was trying to bribe its way into obtaining a favorable judgment from the Supreme Court, 
where such a case is being investigated by the CBI which can be used to potentially blackmail the Chief Justice, this issue becomes even more important and the manner in which the Chief Justice dealt with that very case itself is scandalous where he was told that he has a conflict of interest in this matter, he can't deal with this case, yet he dealt with this case, not only dealt with this case on the judicial side, but dealt with, uh, with it on the administrative side as well, by pulling out the case from the five senior judges to whom it, it had been sent by Justice Chalmeshwar and handing it to three very junior judges who gave it a judicial burial. Sir, for long you have been asking for uh, accountability in the judiciary and for transparency. So, what would you be your suggestions for actually bringing out more transparency in the ju a higher judiciary? So, uh, one of the things needs, which needs to be settled immediately is this very issue of uh, how the Chief Justice allocates cases, etc. This needs to be immediately settled. Uh, but apart from that, uh, the whole functioning of the judiciary. For example, today the, there is hardly any information being made available about the judiciary under the RTI. Right. That needs to be made available. The method of selection of judges needs to be made more transparent, more rational, etc. There needs to be some uh, criteria put in place for selecting judges. There needs to be um, uh, 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 a method for selecting uh, people on on that criteria, there needs to, the names of uh, shortlisted judges need to be put out before the public. All the, these are measures of transparency which have to be adopted. Uh, but do you think there'll be a compromise? Because the reports say that usually on Monday the senior most judges meet the CJI usually customary meeting. Do you think they'll come to a, some consensus on this issue? I or? don't know. It seems a little doubtful given the history of this case because for two months this has been going on and uh, the Chief Justice has not, uh, not listened to reason or not listened to what the senior judges were telling him and the things were getting from bad to worse. Whether the Chief Justice will now see reason and correct himself, etc., remains to be seen. Let us hope that that happens. But you see, that's, that may not be the end of the problems because we have seen very egregious cases of misconduct, quite apart from his ma method of allocating of benches, etc., which will soon have to be uh, dealt with. On that front, we thank you, sir, for coming to News Click. Yeah.